Here we are starting out on Morningstar track, heading towards Black Range Road, and then eventually getting onto Burgoyne's track west. There's just some things in the adventurer where you'll need just a little bit more speed to be able to achieve hill climb. That's one of the problems with going out in the back. Turn left. Yeah. Takes you all the way up to the mountain. Useful walkout. You just got to turn right. Okay. Lacola, do they have fuel up there? Yeah. yeah. They Actually, a couple of us got lost uh, and we soon realised that we had to turn around and go back as we made a wrong turn. We've begun the Burgoyne's track west. Most four-wheel drivers on this track were obviously in low range, so we were travelling quite slow behind, but keeping good pace. Let's go on the road. So does this um, go through or is it just the top? No, it goes go all the way it. down yeah. and keeps going yeah, and keeps yeah. going, yeah. From the collar? Yeah. Yeah. The majority of the downhill descents we did on this trip were controlled by the hill descent control system that's standard on all V6 adventurers. And we only had one warning once that our brakes were getting a bit warm that we had to pull over and just let them cool down. We had a call over the UHF that there were a couple of vehicles heading up Burgoyne's track, so we just all pulled up to the left and waited for the up traffic to come up before we began to go down. soon discover that it wasn't actually a tyre that made that noise, it was actually at one of our rear air shocks connectors just disconnecting. And because we didn't know what was always coming up ahead, whenever we had four drives behind us, we'd be generally giving them the all clear to go first, just so we weren't holding up anyone. Thanks mate, I've got one more behind yeah, me. So. Wait to get awesome, thanks guys. All right, guys. Here we are crossing McAllister River. We were very, very fortunate that the river was very low on this day. You need to take caution if traveling through here that this river sometimes can get quite high and you'll probably need a snorkel to cross. Nothing to see here. Move along. Nothing to see here. Move along. 
I quickly found that in the adventure we tend to catch the four wheel drives that are in front of us. So sometimes we've had to slow down or stop to keep a good safe distance between those traveling in front of us. And sometimes that's caused us to essentially need to rerun it because we've lost the momentum that we needed. We noticed quite frequently four wheel drives that were in front of us would always kind of wait at the top of the hill just to see if the adventurer would make it. I guess it was always a win when we just got up there and they just drove off. When you're travelling in the adventure in places, kind of like Burgoyne's track, where the vehicle is not expected to be one to be seen, I always felt like it was necessary <laughs> to tell people not to judge really, because just to look on their face when you come around the corner and use not the vehicle they expected to see. <laughs> Victoria High Country is just such a beautiful place and I can't begin to describe how you feel out here when you're doing something like this. It's just amazing. Beautiful out here, far out. It's always at that moment when you see the end of the track is near that you feel accomplished and it's just a good feeling that overcomes you. Oh. Right, we made it! Made it mate, well. mate, this car is so impressive. <laughs> Would you like this a VV for that? that Honestly, impressive. that is insane. And like always, if you guys love the content that we produce here, please subscribe because it tells us that you enjoy watching what we make and it just gives us more motivation to go out and make more.